and we're live now. We are live. Does everybody in the chat world hear me? Does anybody in the chat room hear me? Balls to the wall, you can lick my ass. Everybody knows that I'm real white trash. I crack into my stash and I smoke my weed. Everybody knows that I got a need. I got a fucking need to succeed. And if you don't like it, bitch, you can get on your knees and you can suck my balls as I break your balls. And I'm gonna bust a nut right across the wall. Yes, yes, y'all, what can I say? You hear me, oi, oi. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Ed Fig. Thank you, Ed Fig. And DJ Toro, because everybody knows that your mom's a whore, yo. Except for you, Crystal Cage. Crystal Cage is is a purdy lady. She's a purdy lady. I want to be a redneck. You know that? All right, guys. Um, I got a little brain fart going on here. Um, basically, uh, I have uh, gotten six shots to the spine, which was fucking really pleasant today. But. Uh, you know, before we totally get the show rocking and rolling, um, I'm going to uh, get everything rocking and let's get rolling. needs to get the fuck off of pig stream because all pig offers you is dirty ass fucking bacon to all my muslim friends out there stay away from the fucking pork he's not live okay stay away from him anyway he should be on this fucking show he's not live okay you hear about that guy he calls himself james mk oh yeah that motherfucker smokes two packs a day. 
I heard he's got his own show now. Oh yeah, yeah, it's growing real fast. Thank you, Zeno. Everybody's gonna be a blast. Man, you hot pocket nigga. I got my ass kicked by an old man. He think that's bad. He beat me down using only one hand. What's up, Mr. Cuban guy? I heard he out drinks the guests on his show. Well, by now, I'm sure that everybody knows. What's up, Mr. Sal? Single more. What's up, guys? about that guy he calls himself James MK oh yeah and that dude that Dark Natus <laughs> all right one more song guys and we're raring and ready to rock and roll here so got to do the opening it's been the original since the beginning Revolver, I'm saying gay people can't eat hot pockets. Guys, let me open up the show with a <coughs> okay for starters. Uh, what I'm gonna do before I go to town today, all right, there's been a lot of people out there that have said I deserve to suffer. So, for the fact that people have suggested I deserve to suffer, I have decided to allow people to see me suffer for one day. What I'm about to show you. And I was gonna wait till later, but let's gonna get this out. Nah, James ain't drunk, man. James wish he was drunk, but he ain't drunk. But James is going to give you a little a little present today. Let's see if this works. Uh, let's go to my desktop. Okay. Okay, let's move this over here. Okay, and let's bring this bear boy up to the forward. Actually, let's see. Let's bring this sucker down. Let's bring this sucker down. Let's bring all these suckers down for a second. And bring this motherfucker over here. Okay. Alright, what you guys are witnessing right now is what happens to somebody I know when you're saying bad, bad for who? Bad for you or bad for me? Ah, that's called a shot in the back. Alright. Uh, yeah. Arr, that hurt. Come on, we gotta shrink this down. We're just gonna go straight. 
Okay. I wanted to see the quotes. All right, this is me getting six to seven shots in the spine today um, because of arthritis and pinched nerves. Bad, bad for who? Bad for you or bad for me? Damn, I got old. I'm, I look like an old man. Nathan, am I old? Yeah. I'm looking pretty old. Ah, that's called a shot in the back. Look like a pirate. I should have been in the Pirates of the Caribbean with that look. One more time. Woo! Rick Flair style. It does hurt there, yes. It does hurt there. Yeah, that's my ball sack. Ah! Pardon my French there, miss. If this works, you're my hero. If this works and it comes back, you can burn the nerves to this joint. Ah. I feel like Tom yeah, Green when he got his testicle taken out. Ah, shit. Less pain is cool. Ah. Plus, I gotta, I gotta shave the hair in my nose there, man. This does hurt. Do not let it fool you. I'm not yeah. crying. Look at all that gray hair. Right. It would suck if I cried. No? Nobody's cried? You look like you're about to. There's no crying in baseball. What movie was that from? So, like, right now the needle's in me still, correct? Okay, I was just checking because I kind of felt like it was just kind of sitting there. Ah! No, not, not bad news bears. It was uh, a league of their own with the chicks, Tom Hanks. Yo, that needle was about seven inches long. How many shots they gave you, son? Seven of them. I gotta do my seven show. My show must go on. You know I did my show during a hurricane? I'm still, cause I'm getting shots in my back and I'm still talking about getting to the show. <laughs> the day after the hurricane? The guy we actually, the guy was actually concerned with the, uh, with the with the Mortal Kombat scene. It was kind of cool. didn't lose it until the day after. So what, 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 you're on the internet. I did it through my phone, through Skype. Yeah. Twitch, Twitch TV, the On Blast Show slash the On Blast Show. Ow. How many, how many people are watching the show? <sighs> I get everywhere <laughs> from promoting it. I mean, I've had the lowest point. It's like 50. I've gone up to like four, five, six hundred. I, I, I exaggerated the number a little. <laughs> no, more more Howard Stern type shit. People hate each other and they want to expose it. I put bounties out on people. I mean, I'm drooling. I'll put $500 bounty to knock you out of the tournament. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so there's a personality to that. Yeah, there's a WWE mentality to it. Ah, uh, this <laughs> Two times, you lose twice, you're out. Well, you gotta be a good player to knock out. The guy's not a good well, player. if one person knocks another guy out, out. It's Sounds like I'm taking a shot. shit. You done? One more pinch. One more pinch. Watch this pinch. Uh, ow. ow, that hurt. Don't say you have to be a good player to knock somebody out, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yes, you do. <sighs> I wouldn't put a bounty on a shitty player. You're right, Cheech. I should be doing porn. <laughs> yes. Or, or, or single malt. I should be doing porn. A little of both. Yes. Just like in baseball. Pitcher could have a bad day. Yeah. Yo, motherfucker was actually talking about the size of the boards. Motherfucker. Whew. 
uh, yes, but certain boards are Release, they're fucking being him in the ass. That's what they're doing to him. Because there's, uh... So, to, all, to all the gay people in the community, this is why I couldn't be a catcher. You wouldn't want that oh, face shit. in the morning. Yeah, the, the doctor back there is Homeboy Tyson. Well, no, when you play somebody, certain characters... There's Homeboy Tyson stitching my ass shut. ...benefit from a bigger board than a smaller board. Yeah. So no, you can actually girl. select I, boards. I, I know. And if your character is the type of character that benefits from a smaller board, you're going to have a tendency to pick the smaller board to, to, to work to your benefit. Oh. But it did get me Oxycontin. All right, so with that said, guys, uh, that is what happens... Um, that is pretty much what happens. What what happened to my oh shit? You know what? Let me add two screen reasons quick. Uh, because I wasn't paying attention. I was in such a hurry today. Uh, let's do that one. We shall be here. Sorry guys, I'm a little behind. Basically, in a nutshell, guys, what had happened today is uh, I got arthritis in the back and pinched nerves, compressed discs, the whole fucking crap. So uh, basically what they did was uh, they gave me seven shots of uh, steroids into my spine, which hopefully will uh, uh, alleviate the pain, which to be honest, the pain from getting the shots, <laughs> my back don't hurt no more. So now I can fucking rock and roll again. Uh, let me get my other screen region of the chats in here, and we will get this this jammy going here, guys. So that was, uh, like I said, my uh, my experience at the doctor's office today. And now you know why I don't like going to fucking doctors. All right, shut up. Let me just do the intro thing. All right, guys. go for it, there, Rocky. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, you just up. What's up? Uh, I'm just like half asleep because I just kind of woke up. Um, Usually shout out to sponsors, guys. Uh, I don't feel like reading through everybody, so just look at the bottom. If you're not following them on Twitter or haven't been to their website, please do so already. Um, as you guys can see, I'm putting out a message right here. If you guys read on Twitter, we got a teaser kind of guest coming on just for a teaser. Uh, it will be sometime soon, so I'm trying to spread the word, guys. If you can, hit up Twitter, let people know. You need to get the fuck on because you'll see who ends up showing up as a little teaser. Uh, Chris Casamassa will be on. Uh, James, was that uh, nine o'clock? Nine o'clock his time, which would be about midnight hour time. So, in about one hour, Chris Casamassa will be on. Um, so, guys, just sit tight. No, drip top. Fuck you. You don't fucking have me on Facebook. You got me on Twitter. There you go. Um, yeah, so guys, sit tight. Uh, like I said, tweet out, let people know this is going on. Remember, guys, the archives. If you missed Matt Mullins last week, he came on at 4 o'clock in the morning Eastern time. So a lot of people might have missed that. If you missed Matt Mullins, check the archive. Go to our YouTube page, uh, On Blast Show 2012 on YouTube. It's the only place you can see, catch the archive. The archive footage is not on this site. So go to our, our YouTube page to catch the archive. Guys, um, what I have to do quick for one second, and it's just going to be one second, so do not go nowhere. I literally have to drop the stream for one second. Not why? I just have to drop the stream. Ah, you fuck. Uh, I'm back. I'm sorry for my uh, for my little delay. Um, with my little delay, um, I just want to bring you guys a little special something and a message for all of you uh, supposed professional MK9 players, I, uh, I give you this. Welcome. Your soul oh, is mine. To the On Blast Show, the greatest show of fans of all the galaxies.
It is I, Shang Tsung, leader and supreme commander of Shang's army. You will follow your soul to Shang's army and report for duty as your soul shall require. I speak to you from limbo, since due to the profound state I am in, of presenting myself to a weakling known as Liu Kang, that I allowed him to defeat me in my weakness. I speak to you from limbo, thus explaining why you can't see me this evening. But do not fear. Do not fear that sight is not everything. For I will lead you to the next level through Shang's army. As you join, you will find a greater truth than simply winning or losing. I will share with you a secret that I have learned in Limbo. One of my friends that I admire very much, one of your humans, Bruce Lee once said, the art of fighting without fighting. Shang has his own motto and version of that. The, the art of winning without fighting. I will be the point guard of this new movement. Please, ask away. Guys, I introduce to you the one and the only, the true leader of the Outworld Army, Shang Tsung. At your service. Mr. Shang Tsung, I must ask you, what are your plans for MK9 for the year of 2013? I will reveal in that moment something that will take the whole gaming world and turn it over the great power of the gaming world to MK players. For they deserve to have the power of Shang Tsung first. It will eventually be open to the whole world of gamers. But because of your special attention and devotion, I wish to share these secrets with you fans first. I must ask you, Mr. Shang, um I have been a faithful follower of you as many uh, fellow Baraka players have joined forces and willingly will fight for you to take down the likes of Jax, Sonya, Smoke, um, any character out there that will oppose you in any way, shape, or form. What um, advice do you have for the players that actually think that they will be coming for you in the year 2013? My advice is that if you come at me with power, be prepared to lose. For there is no power greater than what lies within you, your own soul. Before I died and was defeated, I believed that power was everything. Thus, I was defeated. And as I speak to you from limbo, 
awaiting the choice of which way my soul will go. I can only share with you that which I have learned, which I will do in depth as you join Shang's army. And until then, those who wish to oppose in the name of power, be prepared to defeat yourself. I don't have to lift a finger for you to lose. You will defeat yourself. And thus, us, the army of Baraka, shall fight proudly side by side with you. Um, I do not want to take too much more of your time. I know you have uh, many realms out there to conquer. Um, I hope to see you. Um, it's become aware and it's been rumored that you may once again hold that island tournament sometime in the near future and I stand side by side with you with as many of the Baraka army as possible to defeat anybody who comes to challenge you. Well, I welcome all you Baraka followers. And let me say to you now, in closing, there is more to win than winning. We shall conquer it all. But we will begin by knowing ourselves more through special techniques, all contained in the word, one word, and a word that you would not expect. For the hidden mysteries are most, most hidden in their simplicity. And that word, and with this word, I bid you farewell. The word is breath. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your time. And we will defend you with our lives. My best to you all. Thank you once again. As you've heard, guys, um, Shang Tsung is coming. Shang Tsung is coming not just to be a guest, but Shang Tsung is coming to the tournament. To the tournament to prove to one and all that no CD Junior, no Pig the Hut, no 16-bit, nobody that uses a character of good has a chance to defeat all the evil that will be at the next island tournament. And with that, I am going to take a commercial. My tag's KFROG, and I'm a competitive gamer. Mortal Kombat's my game, mainly because I'm terrible at Japanese fighting games. But I still go to pretty much all the fighting game tournaments in Toronto. And I've competed at some of North America's largest major fighting game tournaments as well, like Evolution in Las Vegas and some of the Major League Gaming tournaments. I've held casual gaming sessions every month at my place to help local players level up and train for the past year, and I sometimes house gamers when they come from out of town for a tournament. The long and the short of it is, I'm very familiar with and very connected to the fighting game community. I've always been especially struck by the level of analysis and effort that some players put into mastering their games and with everything that goes on inside and outside of tournaments. I'm pretty sure the majority of people have absolutely no idea how far competitive gamers go to become top players in their games and about the level of devotion and skill that's involved in the process. So I decided to do this project. The goal? Present the range of experiences by talking to both casual and competitive fighting game players, as well as sharing my own experiences. In order to do this properly, I need to get to New York City and California to conduct some key interviews with a few of North America's top fighting game players. I'll then be providing exclusive in-depth coverage of one of Canada's largest major fighting game tournaments, T13, which many of these players will be attending. So I invite you to join me as I attempt to define premise of the game. That's the one. That was crazy. 
That was crazy. My skills are unparalleled. <clears throat> Alright guys, we're back. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, for those of you who, who came in the very beginning when Mr. Shang Tsung did show up, he, uh, uh, glad for you guys are sticking around. Like I said, you never know what happens on this show. Um, James, I'm on a black screen of death right now. Uh, James stepped away for a minute to speak to uh, Mr. Shang Tsung on the side. So, guys, you gotta deal with me for a little bit. Uh, no, that was not a soundboard. That was actually Shang Tsung talking in the flesh, guys. That was our super secret guest teaser that we had uh, coming on. This was kind of last minute. Uh, if you agree that was fucking godlike, yo, give me a hell's yeah in the, in the chat. Because I thought that was godlike how he came on and the way he just did that was so perfect. Um, I will definitely get a, uh, 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 when I put the archive up, I'm going to try to put that a little separate from everything else. That way you can see that. Um, but yeah, definitely that was, it was godlike, you know. It, it, that worked out better than we thought it would come out. Um, I mean, I'm, we're sorry for the, 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 the downtime there, but we needed to kind of prep it up real fast. So, um, Mr. Shang Tsung will be on in a future episode for a full length episode. You know, he'll be on for like an hour, two hours. Uh, probably, I don't know if it's next week or the week after or something like that, because we do got the holiday season going on. Um, we have, uh, what, next week is Christmas and then the week after is, is New Year's. So, we need to, we're going to figure that out. But when we have him on as a full-blown guest, uh, guys, be sure to submit those questions and stuff. Uh, remember, later on, it's Chris Casamasa. Casamasa should be on in about, about 40 minutes. So if you guys have questions, submit them. Send them on Twitter. Send them on Facebook. Um, I already got some on, on, on Twitter. I got some on Tessa and Mai. Uh, I got some on Mortal Kombat United. Uh, I'm not sure about the other websites. I'll check those later on when the when Castle Master comes on. Uh, but definitely having him on was pretty godlike. Um, oh man, I'm still kind of shocked. That, I'm as shocked as you guys. I, 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 it was great seeing the reaction from a lot of you guys, and I was just sitting back and enjoying the ride when Shang was talking. Um, yeah, when Shang comes on, he will have video on and everything you know when he comes on in, in the future episode so uh, I'm actually reading what some of you guys are saying in the chat right now how do you guys how do we get these people man listen when there's a will there's a way all right we're doing what no other show has ever goddamn done before we go outside the players all right we manage to get the people who you think were impossible possible on the show so it just it, it takes a lot man but we managed to get it done and like i said it's only the beginning guys we we got other people lined up and like i said when these people come on you're gonna be like wow good question when is ed boom uh james has that answer uh as far as i know that will be probably next year <clears throat> and next year is coming up soon to get Michael Jai White, then I'll say, wow, you know what, Cheech, we're working on that already. So be prepared in the future. Like I said, we, we got uh, quite a few guys coming from the Legacy Series. It's going to be pop it's going to be popping up soon. So just like I said, be surprised. You're surprised how many people we get. You know, we just had Matt Mullins last week. You just heard Shang Tsung just now. Uh, we got Castle Master coming on later. Uh, I mean, uh, we've, we've, I mean, come on, guys. We've had John Tobias on here. You know, we try to get everybody, man. And, and it, it, it's a very big work in progress and how we get things. And yes, uh, K7, I agree. I agree. Matt Mullins is probably one of the best guests we had on here. But nobody's going to beat out Shang Tsung's godlike speech just now. All right? Nobody's going to beat that. Oh, and don't forget. Um, um, uh, John Tobias was another great guest, and he was uh, the amount of questions we threw at him. Uh, it, it was it was crazy. 
um, in the future, um, if, well, actually, whenever we get Mr. Boone on, I, I expect a, a massive amount of questions. Uh, MK Secrets, if you're listening out there, I expect a lot of questions from you guys. Because I know there's a, 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 a massive amount of things you guys would love to know and see if we could if pull it out of him whenever we, we, we finally get him on. So, just be easy, guys. Uh, like I said, James set the way. He's talking to Mr. Shang Tsung. Um, as we speak right now on the phone. So, you know, just sit tight. Um, who else? Uh, uh, to touch on some things today, uh, let's see. What's going on in the community? I mean, let's go through the list here. I actually like to go through the news a little bit, try to, you know, present some stuff to you guys who don't know what the hell is going on. Uh, there's a new Green Lantern banner from what I'm seeing on Tester Might for Injustice. Uh, guys, check that out. Uh, they're gonna have got a gauntlet series going on. Uh, I don't know what the hell's gonna be happening with that. I didn't really read too much into it, but it seems like it's catching a lot of steam about that. Uh, Ghana, West Africa has got a Mortal Kombat scene. I, I, it took two years for that to happen. Uh, what? Wait, hold on. I got a message from somebody. What is this? Uh, somebody wants me to talk about PL's glossy nails. I didn't even know he had glossy nails. <laughs> um, what else is going on? Uh, King Hippo, we don't care about. So, yeah, you're not news to us. Uh, Lord of the Fly. And we've got a matchup footage with Scarlet Kingship with Pick of the Hut. You guys, check that out. Uh, Fan made custom Mortal Kombat HD. Uh, oh, duh. oh, that's right. The Mortal Kombat HD. That's supposed to be still getting worked on. Hopefully, coming out soon. Um, there's another Mugen project, uh, Mortal Kombat Outworld. Guys, check that out. It's going to be coming out soon. Uh, Gruff, you're welcome about that. Uh, we keep that little secret. We don't talk about that kind of stuff over here. Derp Tile, you suck. Uh, Boom, talk about the regarding of Doomsday and Injustice. Yo, Doomsday better be in that goddamn game. Seriously, if he's not in that game, I would be so pissed off. So, please, Mr. Boone, get Doomsday in the goddamn game. Uh, oh, I got another message. Oh, we got, we got another shout out. Uh, yes, the Mortal Kombat Flash Dances. They got their new uh, MK vs. Christmas video coming out next week. So, for a Christmas treat for all you guys, um, they're going to be uh, having an MK vs. Christmas episode uh, edition of the flash dances check them out on youtube uh it's youtube slash uh riot that's r-o-zero-t if i remember correctly so definitely guys check them out big supporters of the show and everything uh james was with them so james will have some exclusive photos if you guys have not seen any of the photos yet there was one posted on the on blast show facebook page and twitter account uh there was one there james should have some more of his stuff um, uh, what time are you gonna die on Friday? I need to get my haircut done. Uh, what time are we gonna die on Friday? Yeah, that's right. The end of the world is this Friday. So, yeah, guys, they may they may no longer be an on blast show if the end of the world is this Friday. Yeah. So let's see what happens. I mean, a lot of crazy shits going on. Oh, you know what? Let me stop for a sec. Um. You know, uh, we just got hit recently with the whole mass murdering at the Connecticut school and everything. Um, it's a real fucked up situation. Uh, this, this kid who did this is fucking psycho. And I don't know what the hell's wrong with people to sit there and have to, uh, uh, you know, kill his mother and then kill like 20 kids and then plus another like five other, uh, adults over there. There's, there's some real fucked up people in the world. And it's a real damn shame, you know, that this happened, you know. It really touches it touches close home to us over here you know i'm from new york connecticut's right up above us that's only like hour and a half drive two hour drive from where i'm at so you know it really sucks that they have to deal with that right now uh i'm kind of losing my voice a little bit from consistently talking right now um yeah but that was real sh sad and shitty and 
I, I, I've been trying to watch the news as much as I could about it and getting details, and it's it's a real fucked up situation. You know, they said that's the biggest mass murder in, in elementary school ever in the United States. You know, and then the same day uh, in China, uh, 22 kids got stabbed to death. Uh, I don't know if they got died or died, but 22 kids got stabbed in China. So, oh man, it's a real fucked up world we live in. I mean, I don't know if it's the coming, of the breaking point of the world coming to the end, but it's it's a real messed up situation so mm. yeah so that is what it is guys you know yeah you know what I carry a gun for a living I have not killed anybody you know I, I mean I, but granted you know what the problem is you know I was discussing this with a few people about gun laws apparently in a lot of different states it's way too damn easy to get a gun New York City happens to be one of the hardest, play, hard, one of the hardest places to get a gun. It took me a year to get a gun, and I was working for a company a year to get a gun. So it's ridiculous how hard it is. So when you, if, if it comes down to you know Brooklyn, Queens, Bronx, uh, Manhattan, Staten Island, those five boroughs in New York City, it, it's ridiculous to get a gun license. It, it's so hard. But if you go outside of that, like upstate New York or like Long Island, you can get a gun like nothing. It's kind of stupid. I, I don't know why not every state is not strict on, on gun regulations. But, it, you know, for someone to get a gun in, in, in a matter of like a month or three weeks to get licenses these days in other states, it's kind of stupid. It, it, you know, I, yeah, I believe in the right to bear arms, but... To not to be able to get arms as easily, they should be more thoroughly checked. Some people, you know, I, I mean, in all honesty, if it was up to me, I feel only uh, 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 people who are cops, uh, corrections, military, uh, armed security are the only people who should even carry guns in the first place. Technically, you shouldn't really have a gun at all, but you know, people believe in the right to bear arms, so you know, if they're gonna have that, you need to be having stricter gun laws. You know, I'm, this way we won't have shit like this happening where kids getting killed in, in the damn school. You know, these were fucking 70 year old, 8 year old kids that were getting shot up and killed. And it's it's kind of ridiculous. Me being a father, you know, if I, if I was to find that out with my kid, you know, I'll be fucking, I'll be devastated over here. So, yeah, it's pro new world, man. I don't, man, this world kind of fucked up, dude. <sighs> Why you need a gun, Zato? Uh, Zato, I, I, I drive in, well, since I'm out of work right now, since I'm on leave, since I've been injured, I drive an armored truck. So I carry millions of dollars every damn day. So yeah, it's kind of a dangerous field. I got a big bullseye on my back when I do my job. So it's not an easy job. And I, I carry like four magazines on me and shit like that. I got hollow points. I got all kind of crazy shit in my fucking damn thing. You name it, I got it. I got handcuffs, fucking uh, the, the high quality fucking maze. So, you know, it's a dangerous job. You know, we always gotta look over our shoulders in our, in our line of work. And yes, there's a lot of killings in my, in, in my line of field. There's been a lot of shootings and that's about it. Nanas, do you lift? No, I do not lift. I lift bags of coins, that's the fuck I lift. Anyone can have handcuffs. No, not really. Uh, actually, there. If you go to like a gun shop, you can't really get it unless you have a license. And you're supposed to be certified in carrying handcuffs, also. All right, but enough of that stuff. We'll get back into the world of MK. I, I need. I, I don't have control of the Skype call here, so I need James to add on whoever he was good about to add on. Uh, have you ever? Have you never had a criminal record? Yes, I've had a criminal record before. I was arrested before for uh, 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 possession of a deadly weapon. Uh, that got, it got, it didn't get dismissed. It got dropped down to disorderly conduct, which um, they expunged off my record at less than a year. So I had like two days community service and a fine. Yeah, I was arrested, bro. You know, and you know what the thing is? I was arrested for carrying a samurai sword and a, a, a small knife, which they tried to say was an easy access weapon, but it wasn't. But I was transporting a samurai sword because I had moved, and I was transporting it. And apparently, 
having it in a sheath is not considered covering it. They wanted it wrapped up in a fucking blanket and shit. So they actually arrested me, had me in precinct, took me to central booking and all that shit. So, but luckily that got cleared off and everything. So, yeah, it, it sure does get sucked getting arrested in New York. Fucking central booking sucks ass, dude. I, I, I don't wish people would get fucking arrested, dude. It really sucked. It was horrible. I, most of the time I slept, but, my, you know, it's kind of hard to sleep and shit like that. And it seems like Mr. James Fink is about to come back on. All right, James, you're back. Yes, sir, I have returned. All right. I was uh, had to uh, step out to the out world with Paper Legend and uh, have a conversation. Okay. So, uh, what have I missed, guys? Uh, we were just discussing uh, how godlike the Chang Sung was coming on, uh, the, the, the Connecticut shootings, uh, my line of work. I discussed some of the news that's been going on in, in the MK world from Tesla Mike and MKU. So, read off some of the news feeds and, you know, shit like that. And I'm losing my voice for consistently talking, so you could take over from it. Okay. So. Uh, guys, I want you all to know um, that little short promo by Shang Soon um, is one more reason for you guys to get to VXG. Huh? It's one more reason for you guys to get to VXG. Remember what I said. Shang Soon's island is where he wants to take over. He wants his island back. So keep that in mind. Plenty of a reason to get to VXG. Um, Carrie is an absolute stand-up guy. Um, you know, we've been we've been talking for uh, you know a week or so, and he's a really cool dude. Um, he is going to be back on the show again in the future, and it's not going to be a promo. It's going to be more of a uh you know getting to know uh getting to know carrie uh some of the movies some of his acting obviously we all know he plays shang soon um lots of other movies the last emperor uh rising sun he's done a lot of a lot of movies obviously he uh uh robot columbus you did not miss the gay obs intro song i'm going to sing it for you right now Robot Columbus got a real small cock. The little fucking bitch couldn't come to my block because I'd fuck him in the ass and make him cry all night. It doesn't even matter if you're black or fucking white. You're just a bitch. I'll toss you in a ditch. I'll cut your fucking head off, your little fucking snitch. That's tight, biatch. There's the new OBS song. Anyway, let's move along. Uh, so he's going to be coming back on in the future. Um, and he's going to... Uh, He's he's gonna you know get more into a, a lot of the stuff that he's working on. Um, I really don't want to get into it now. Um, it's a lot of positive stuff that a lot of people in the community should be able to uh, to uh, to benefit from as well as once again keep in mind to um, the players that and I'm not calling them the biggest losers, but to the weight, the weight program, that is going to happen. No, Chris Casamass is not on yet. He's uh, running uh, around 12 o'clock. He said he'll be here at 12 o'clock our time in New York. Um, so with that said, um, I do want to hit on the, the, the Connecticut shooting thing. Very, very minor. I mean, my heart goes out to every one of these people. Um, I am not going to try and turn this into political at all, but when I hear the things about this, you know, controlling guns, that's not the answer. You know, the criminals will get the guns whether you whether you ban them or not. They'll find a way to get them. Um, if you know, and my personal belief is, if there was a teacher in there that had a gun, it could have ended a lot quicker. You know, and that's that's my personal stance. Once again, don't want to get political, but that's where I'll leave it. Uh, Cheech, you put me to sleep when you were on the stream at MLG. I was on MLG. Ooh. Cheech, I wasn't on MLG. Trust me, they never had me on MLG stream. Yeah, the arena. They didn't have me on the stream. Oh, they just had the picture <laughs> of me. Oh, well, well, they were putting me to sleep when I was sitting front row. Oh, not me. Smogasm. <laughs> All right. Um, once again, um, 
I do have to go through a quick little thing here, um, just off the top of my head. Um, obviously, Disturbed from last weekend is now OBS. So, uh, Disturbed is an OBS member. Uh, <laughs> fucking Rio in your fucking comments. Uh, uh, I also have a couple of other people to announce. Um, we have, um, and I'm going to add him in the show, but what I need to know, Cheech, you want to join OBS, all you got to do is send me a personal message, okay, you can PM me, uh, either on Test Jemite or MKU, or you can email me personally at James with two S's at, uh, MK at Hotmail, or at the On Blast Show, either or, or you can just hit me up on, uh, the YouTube or leave me a message, but you got to give me some of your info. Uh, you want my phone number? It's 1 800 S U C K my P E N I S E D. Nah, anyway, seriously, hit me up on uh, one of those one of those ways. Um, I don't give out my phone number that easily. You join down the road, you will get my number. I'm not afraid to give out my number, but you know, I just don't want to get, get get harassed. Actually, you know what? 516-749-1401. There you go. You got my number. Um, I don't care. Fuck it. Blow my phone up. I got unlimited minutes anyway. You can call me solo strike. Knock yourself out. Um, and another thing that I was looking to do is, in the future, I do want to do something similar to that. Hey, uh, Artie, Artie, what's up, man? Can you have my cell? Yeah, you can. Hold on. Uh, my only thing is this guys do not be pricks I, um, I don't care who calls me you may, I mean at the end of the day I don't care you come into my room you break my balls or whatnot. You, you know but you're here you're having fun you're enjoying yourself so you know just don't be an asshole that's all I ask um, James, do you have some pictures to show us? Yes, I do have some pictures to show you. All right, guys, this weekend, um, I am not going to give away too much because of the simple fact that uh, uh, the reason I don't want to give away too much is it's kind of private. It's not fully fledged yet. Um, and it's kind of... Uh, it's kind of here for you guys. Uh, why? You know what? My PC gets all fucking wiggity, 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 whack. Wiggity, 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 whack. Don't fuck with me, white or black. You can suck my sack. Hey, that is the Christmas tree in Rockefeller Center. How pretty. No, uh, we don't give a shit about that. <laughs> okay, let me see. Okay. This is what happens when Scorpion fucks with James MK. And, and, and his girlfriend, by the way. Let's move this bad boy over. Why is this thing like locking up on me here? This is, shit's not moving. Oh, here we go, that's why, because I'm retarded. This is what happens when people screw at me. Okay, see this is, this is the, uh, I, I, I partook in the, 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 the MK flash dance uh, is, is shooting a movie currently. I don't want to give too much away because obviously I'm, uh, you know, I'm not at liberty to give too much away, but um, that is what I call smoking jay with scorpion. Um, these guys are the epitome of cool people. Um, I like, uh, let me find the picture I really, really like. I think I put it up already, but um, I think I caught this, mo this, this in the best possible move. That actually looks like that came out of the game. That is Liu Kang actually doing. That is Liu Kang actually doing a flying kick at Frosty the Snowman. So that's that's that. Uh, what else we got? That's the director's ass. Um, what else do we got? I don't want to give away. Like I said, I really don't want to give too much away. For the simple fact, uh, oh, this is a nice ass right there. That's Jade fighting Frosty. Uh, we got the the MK crew. We got uh, Big Titty Kang, Sindel, Jade, Jax. Um, what else do we got? We got we got uh, Sindel doing a pose down with I don't know some kind of bestiality looking 
artistic Italian thing. And then we got uh, trying to fight with Raiden. And this is what happens when you mess with Frosty the Snowman. He whoops your ass. <coughs> uh, beyond that, guys, I'm not going to give too much away because I, you know, they are working on it. They are currently, you know, editing it, and it should be out within a week or two. Um, what I will tell everybody to do is definitely, without a doubt, go out there. Where's go the picture of you, James? Which one? The picture of you, the one that's on uh, we put on Facebook and uh, Twitter. Oh, let me see. Uh, now everybody saw that. Let's see what we got. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't help but put up in the hill, Mari, Gon, Jingle to Madre. Uh, well, that's that one. Let's close that one out. And download pictures. Pictures. Uh, 12, 12, no, that's not it. I gotta find it now. What the fuck did I just do with that? Uh, 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 I'm not having a good day here right now. Well, I'm trying to redo this computer, man, making it look sweet. Camera roll. Is it on the camera roll? Mm, I don't know. No, I'm just, not. just go to the website. Go to Facebook. Go whatever. No, 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 no. It's too much of a pain in the dick. It's too much of a pain in the ass. Let me go find my... It's, it's going to be under my folder here. Uh, the on blast show. Oh, yes. Like, uh, my pictures. Where are my pictures? Like, I'm blind as a bat. Videos, pictures. Here we go. Uh, my pictures, public pictures, my pictures. Uh, Pick of the Hut got a call out. Pick of the Hut got a call out from hell. He's got a call out. He wants to put somebody, he, he's he got a challenge and a call out to somebody. Uh-oh. Brand's on. Let's get him on. Get him on. Oh, you're the one caught with the head call. Where is he? I don't see yeah, him. Yeah, he's on Skype. I don't see him on yet. I see him. I don't. Oh, there we go. Let me add Mr. Brandt. James, you go find that picture. Alright, I'll go find that picture. Allow Pink to call out who he wants to call out. Alright, let me let me plug my headphones real quick. Alright, Pink. Man, this Man. is interesting. This is going to be fun. Man. Wait, hey, hey, before you say anything. How how godlike it how godlike was it when Shang Tsung came on? Dude, I, that was so badass. It was such a bad time to have to get off the stream. I'm gonna go back and watch the archive because I, I was I had to go tuck in like my uh, my wife and the kid and all oh, that stuff. Dude, you stepped away, man. No, I mean, it was like I said. There's nothing I could do about it. I had to step away. It was like the worst timing ever. And uh, the whole time, I mean, like all these bad looks. Cause I didn't want to leave. But uh, it is what it is. Okay, Tom, Tom. Tom is in the stream chat. I need Tom on this call. I will put. I Tom need in. Tom on this call. All right. Let's see how many thirty-five times okay. it takes to add Tom. Let's see. Where is okay. Bill? Bill. 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 Are you in? Let's so. See. So. All right. This isn't. This is going to be. Can you get Tom on? I want to see if he'll accept this. I'm going to try to find him to see if he's on. And, and, yeah, he's on. It's not. He's on. It's. It, it has nothing to do with calling Tom out at all. It's something that would be more fun. If Tom jumped in on this, it'd be fine. All right. If Bill is on, let's add Bill. Let's add him in. Here Tom, get on. I'm Tom, adding, get on. I'm adding him in right now. Trust me. Okay, it's it's good nature. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm about to go to CV. I'm about to go to 24 hour CVS and get some Mucinex. I got that science infection. Yo, that Mucinex, you got to get the fucking super duper behind the counter one though. No, I know. I have to go and like I'm, I'm used to it. Like my science shit. Like I have to go show my ID. Show I'm not like a meth head. Well, you, I was gonna say your, your name might be on that list because you know you're from down south. <laughs> <laughs> Quite possibly. <laughs> and I'm like we got we got four Brant McCaskills. Are you sure you're not one of them? <laughs> <laughs> is uh, is Tom is Tom coming on? Tom should be on. Tom, you there? Mr. Bill Brady, turn your volume on. He's, all, he's connected. I don't yeah, know where he's he is. On. Okay. I hope this isn't disappointing. My call out. It's not a call out. It's more like it's more of a challenge. Make it a good challenge. Okay. Oh, it's oh, it's good. All right. It's good. All right. Ask some profanity to do that challenge. No, that would be. <laughs> it, 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 it doesn't fit the nature of the oh, challenge. Oh man. You'll, you'll, no, you'll understand. You'll understand. It's funny. This is. 
this seriously broke. This is like breaking news as of like two and a half minutes ago. Oh, okay. okay. Can you hear me now? We hear you now. Yeah, but I'm you're echoing. echoing. I'm echoing. But it's alright. It's alright. You always echo. Or you can call me back. I'm on my headset now, so if you want to call me back. You always echo, so you're good. Actually, you're alright. Okay. Good? Okay. Hey, okay, Tom, I want you to participate in this event that I, I would like to throw out, out that needs to happen next Wednesday night. Um, so, my wife my wife was asking me, what the hell was I doing the other night when, we, when I did the Jade versus Kenshi gauntlet? And I, I was like, okay, if you want me to put you to sleep that way, then I'll tell you what it's all, all about. And then I told her, and then she was like, so it's like a really impossible matchup? And I was like, yeah. She's like, well, do you think that I could do it? Like, do you think that you could, like, teach me how to play and I could maybe play one of them? And I was like, yeah, matter of fact, let's make it real. How about you call out Goldfish and we stream my my wife's one week Kenji <coughs> versus Goldfish. <coughs> Oh, what? On, on a first, on, on a first to fight, and it's, it, this is no ill. This is no ill feelings. This is just like it's gonna be hype, you know. Like I don't, I don't. I, oh man, who knows? Um, it it would be fun. It'd be fun, and I, I want Tom to comment it. That would actually be kind of fucking hype. I think I think it'd be fun, man. I think it'd be cool. I like I think it'd be pan, pan, a panda versus a fish, because I always always call her panda, and. Actually, she actually has an MKU account, Panda O oh, the Hut. That actually makes her sound like hard. Wife of the Hut. Okay, well, yeah, that's, I, I like that better, but she always goes really good by Panda. But if she gets through Goldfish, then I want her to be able to play in the next J, maybe like SPO or, or Bird Songs or something like that. And if she can get through one of them, I want her to take on the next J. I want to see how far she can go. The one week. And she, now, keep in mind, she has. Hit, I mean, she. I don't even know how to describe it. She would have negative, negative 100 fighting game fundamentals. She doesn't even understand how to hold the Wii controller and make it like work with the screen correctly. That's how. That's how. That's how much I got my work cut out here. Let me. Let me. Let me just cut into you. Sorry, Mr. Melina. I know Scorpion might be super hot, but he's taken by Jade. All right. So you want your wife to play these Jade players? Correct. Correct. It'd be fun. I just want to see how bad it'll be. See now, I was gonna, I was thinking of something, you know, and, I'm gonna, and, and since you brought this up, um, I want to. Uh, I, since I'm old and like, you know, I'm like ranked like 102 out of 100 players. Um, I'm I'm pretty much Bosley these days. I want to make my own version of Charlie's Angels, which is going to be Goldfish Keeper, Birdsong, and Tantrum. And I want to start putting them out against some of the top players with handicap matches, which means you guys will have to beat all of them, but they just got to beat you guys twice. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. I think I'm going to make it worth like goldfishes or whatever jade players wild uh make it worth their own while if they if they don't let my wife win one game i'll pay for their final round registration or she will i think i'm going to go ahead and commit to that that would be good that would definitely be good because <coughs> because excuse me because i'm not trying to i'm not doing this to like um embarrass or my wife or any J player or this or that. <coughs> Sorry. Um, what I am trying to do is, I don't know. She, she had interest in it, and I was like, and then I was like, hmm. I wonder if I could get your Kenshi, like, because he's it's a pretty shit matchup. I wonder if I, I wonder if you could win a round or win a match. And she's like, <laughs> she starts saying. Then it became one of those things where, oh, you don't think I can do it? You don't think I'm capable of this? And I was like, no, it's not that at all. <laughs> oh. So, so it, became, it, it, it elevated to one of those things. So then I was like, all right, let's do this. I want to see what you can become in a week. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I guess you know we'll up the ante because I don't want I don't want this to be like um, a, a waste of someone's time or like I want it to be kind of real. So as long as she takes it seriously and like if she gets beat by whatever J player, I'll pay for their final round of registration. Hey Pig, is your wife listening? Hey Pig. 
No, she's asleep. She right, good, like good, good. Between Let me ask you this question, because like you're one of the few. I don't know who else is married. Have you ever sat and like wanted to practice and like tried to use your wife to practice? Hey, wait, wait. Like make her grab this the second remote. Yeah. Have you ever tried it and just and just got to the point where you were like, you know what? Just just go watch TV. <laughs> no, see, all right. The thing is, like, I think like once or twice, she like. Show, she's like, teach me how to do this or show me how to do this. And it took her an hour and five minutes to be able to do like Cabal's Dash and then cancel it. See, my so problem, like, my, my problem with back forward four and then back, back block at the same. It took an hour and five minutes. <laughs> my, my problem was I set, you know, in practice mode, I set up the, the, the meter all the way up, and she's like, oh, I like Cage, I like Cage. So all she kept fucking doing to me was the goddamn nut punch. <laughs> so I'm like, how the fuck am I supposed to practice if every time I'm about to hit you, you're doing nut punches? Yeah. And then after a while, I just said, you know, forget it. Forget, fuck it, I'll, I'll practice with myself. I need I need a partner. I need somebody to practice with. Are you saying you want to practice with my wife? <laughs> nah, it's too far of a trip. And, we probably, and, and, and the leg would be bad, but, you know, she'd probably still beat me. She plays Ken. She. Okay, okay. But it, it is kind of funny. It is so kind of old. You want your wife to run the day call. Absolutely. It'd be funny. You know, my, my, my two year old, who actually, she's not two yet. My two year old can get to Shane's song on, on ladder mode beginner. <laughs> That's how stupid beginner mode is. <laughs> just hitting 3 4, 3 4 with Melina. She just hits 3 4, 3 4, 3 4, back and forth and gets all the way to Shang Tsung on Beginner Ladder. I was trying to stream it today, but then she got sidetracked with Row Row Your Boat and had to close the stream down because you can't stream any YouTube videos. Oh, they'll shut you down. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I thought that'd be kind of fun. Anyway. So, so with the with, with with that said, I think that actually would be something pretty cool. So, I mean, uh, we'd have to get we'd have to get goldfish. You'd have to get goldfish into it. I don't know if goldfish is uh, floating about. Let's see. What if uh, I, don't, I don't see her on? Yeah, I was hoping she'd be on, and maybe I should have messaged her about this before I did this. Here, I'll make a thread. I'm not a thread. I'll just make a conversation between the Jade players right now. I'll just do that right now. I don't know. Just something fun. It's more about like I don't know. I don't know. Something fun. She it's was more about like interested in trying to, know, to do it. So I was she like, was yeah, I'm gonna stream like, this shit <laughs> to be fun. To do it. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. Okay. I, I, want, I just wanted Tom to come. Uh, Tom to come today because he's. All right, Tom. He's what's up? Because Tom, here. Tom, I can tell by your voice. I can tell by your voice something's bothering you. Talk to talk, talk to talk to Doctor Phil. No, nothing. I mean, I'll do it. Sure. Nah, I'm not talking about that. I can tell by the tone in your voice. You're not your happy-go-lucky self usually. Oh no, it's um, it's my early New Year's resolution. I used to always joke around with the trolling to whatever, but my New Year's resolution is to be in the gaming world as I am in the real world. So, unfortunately, you guys get no more drama. Well, this drama, just don't let yourself be in the drama. Yeah, um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, so it'll be Wednesday, and I guess you'll have a wife of, uh, she has to go on the stream as wife of the hut, otherwise no good. It has to be her, that has to be her name. Okay. Wife of the hut. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, why not? I mean, yeah, you, well, first of all, you got to contact each other J players, make sure they're up for it. I mean, Man, the more I think about it, I don't want them to like get this message and, and be like offended that out of all characters in the game, I pick Jade. I mean, I honestly pick Goldfish because it's like, I don't know, like another female that she can maybe play with, you know? Like, does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Does that make sense? Uh, man, it just I'm sounds all wrong to me, man. It sounds terrible. Too yeah, bad. It, it sounds all wrong. You know, one female playing with another female, you know. <laughs> it, it, everything you're saying just. <laughs> I, don't know, it's really fun. I mean, there's I gotta, no, I, I no glow factor. Sorry. It's yeah. super. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's there's no glow effect. I mean, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm all for I'm all for J players getting blown up because, you know, the J players are kind of like, you know, I don't know, they're 
super, they have multiple personalities. First, they'll scream that their character is underrated and that we don't recognize her tools. And then when they get beat really, 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 really bad, then they want to blow you up for beating up Jade, and I play Jade, and she's not that good. You know, so... Um, so I, mean, I don't really have any sympathy for Jade players, but... Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll commentate it. You know, call these... these well, get them all. And you said bird songs also. Who else after those two? I want this to be a lot of fun, period. I only want this to be fun. Okay, but well you named two of them. I mean, who, who so if your wife gets pissed I, 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 I just sent a message to the five people who participated in the Jade Gauntlet, like Mr. Molina, Runway Mafia, uh, SPO, the Goldfish, uh, Bird Songs, and any, any other Jade player. Like, I think... Like, those players make Jade look good, or better than she is. So, it's one of those things where, like, I don't want her to, like, take on Cabal. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'd rather her take on a, a Jade, a Kano. Uh, yeah, okay, Bill Sickers. Bill Sickers will do it. Okay, Bill, you're in. That's how all about, I wanted. That's all I needed. How about the uh, spokesperson for the Jade community take a chance? Who, Glorder? No, okay. take a chance. Up oh, take a chance. Okay, uh, he, he see he would do it. He'd be cool about it. I want people to be cool about it. This isn't like it's supposed to be a blow up or anything. It'd be fun. Yeah, it, it, it does. You know, look, and you know what? I, I you know, and, and I always tell you, and I love breaking your balls and saying that we don't agree on anything. But like you know, the community does need to add a little bit more fun beyond just drama. Yeah, this is just fun. This is like it's it's just it's just fun, fun. You know, it's not supposed to be a problem. You know, it was like it was like remember remember the time when you told me that uh, you know I forgot which it was, win a brawl or one of them that you were gonna make people sign contracts and that if they lost they had to wear a trash bag the whole day. The trash matches, yeah. The trash was... matches. That would have been cool. I'll do I'll do that with Tom. I'll do that the next tournament with you if you want to do a trash bag match. You know, it still won't count. People will still say it's not tournament, so uh, it's no point. It's, it's it's lose lose for me. If I win, it doesn't count. And if I lose, you know, it's whatever. So I, you I, I, got to, you know, and this is what I told I told you in private, dude. You got to stop giving a fuck what people think, dude. You no, know how many people hate me, and you know what I tell them? Suck my dick. You know, you miss you miss the point. Well, my point is that I don't want to do it because. Uh, I want to be pig in tournament bad, and uh, you know because I, I have a score to settle. And all the money matches and all the hotel casuals and the trash match, it's not the same, and it'll never be the same. Um, so you know, I'll just wait until tournament time comes. But we'll still have our fun matches. We'll still have our you know it's a lot of fun playing you know, a lot of our matches and hotels and you know getting salty and whatever. Those are always really fun, but it's not a tournament. Uh, it doesn't have the finality of a tournament and. Uh, it never will until it is a tournament, so I'll wait till then. Hey, and, and just so you know, Tom, Bill, whatever, um, when you when you do beat me in tournament, explode. Have fun. You deserve it. Like, like, people like, people like, still like, like, like yeah. uh, talk about that. And, you know, like I told you today, I still watched that video at NEC of you losing the crazy Dominican in top eight. I remember just how bad I felt that day. Just... But I mean, you know, and, and I don't know. Uh, tournaments are supposed to mean something important. Uh, I just don't feel like all the money matches in the world, um, or even trash matches in the world, equal the same thing. There's no bigger blow up than a <coughs> tournament, no matter what. You can lose a thousand trash matches and, and get a tournament win, and it's like those trash matches never happened. You always get the last laugh. That's why, like I said, that's why all you guys, you know, and I understand, you know, Pig, I, I'm glad to see Pig taking it to a funner level. Yes, I know you got this competitiveness, but, you, you know, it's, it, it, we, we as a community have to keep the fun factor there as well. It can't just be, okay, well, who's seated here and who's going to beat who and who's going to do this? You know, there's nothing wrong with, like, you know, a number 96th ranked player going up against Rio for a fucking, you know, a trash bag match. Who knows? You know what? Fucking lightning strikes the kid in the ass. Fucking Rio's fucking controller breaks. And guess what? Rio's walking around with a trash bag the whole time. You know, it's 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 that fun aspect. That's what keeps this community the fun, together. The fun aspect is cool. 
Um, what, what takes away the fun aspect is the community's ability to want to hedge their bets. Which, but that's like, a, that's like anything in life, dude. You know, people hedge their bets in football, you, too. No, you don't hedge your bets in football. But if you, let me tell you right now, if you're a reporter and you blow somebody up and they end up winning the Super Bowl, you're eating crow the whole year. Period. Hedge your bet. Um, a video game, unless it's a tournament, there's always some reason why it doesn't really matter. It dep- if you're a really high profile, everything counts. Dude, you're going. To, you're going to be in uh, at at Winter Ball, right? Yeah, I'll be. There. I am going to get you so fucked up, dude. <laughs> I am going to get you so fucked up. I'm going to give you Percocets. I'm going to give you Vicodin. I'm going to give you Valium. I'm going to give you Moonshine. I'm going to give you Jack fucking vodka. I am going to get you so fucking stoked and happy that you're going to even forget you're in the fucking Mortal Kombat universe. You know, you got, you know, and, 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 and I'm telling you this as a friend. You cannot let this shit get to you. Oh, it doesn't at all. No, but I mean, it does. It you can tell. I can tell, you know, and everybody, you can, I mean, you just got to look at the chat. People will tell by your voice. It does. It depresses you, dude. You know, you know what's funny? Let, it was the first, the first thing he okay, said. Okay, hey, before you, before you guys continue, I'm going to go. I got to go. I, I'm going to re- record in Just Cast. But I'll be back. Uh, after we record in JustCast. Yeah, I, I got right. I'm doing a quick 30-minute segment on me in JustCast. But, but real quick, but real quick, before I get out of here, I just want to say, it was at the first NEC that Pig was at, and we were sitting there, and I just, I was just feeling normal, you know, just, I wasn't in the gaming mode. I was just, you know, just at the bar hanging out with a couple of friends that I hadn't seen in a few years. I just came back from the military. They were at this tournament for fun. Came back, you know, from my from Iraq, and they're getting ready to head back out, uh, you know, in a few months. So I'm, you know, just my normal self. And, you know, Pig, and, you know, was joking around with me, you know, like he normally does, you know. And and he's doing his trash talk to me, and I'm like, oh, you know, that's cool, man, you know. And best of luck to you. And he, and, and, he, and he goes to me, hey, man, you know I'm joking, right? I'm not serious. And I was like, yeah, I know. Like, when I'm, I guess, this whole Tom Brady persona thing, it's like a professional wrestler. You guys, I guess, expect a certain thing or whatever. So you're not going to knock on the Rock's door and expect the Rock to come out. You know what I mean? He's going to be like, hello. He's not going to come out and, you know, tell you he's going to put the smack down and yada, yada, yada. Um, so it's not that at all. Um, but, I mean, like, I, you know, I don't care. I mean, in reality, I mean, I, I, I'm very grateful for the fact that uh, I get so much high profile. I mean, in reality, uh, most of my quote-unquote haters are... Uh, pretty big supporters you know it's just fun i guess to you know to cheer or boo i mean it's so different than sports i guess and it's because there's always so much on the line whether people want to explode you know in my favor or they want to blow me up if i lose in every single match and every single minute that's what makes my matches so high profile and i think it much makes them the most entertaining matches to watch overall so in reality, there's nothing to complain about. You know, the fact that I could be blown up at any time or put on a pedestal at any time is what makes my matches by far the most compelling. Um, so there's just, you know, and I don't care what people say. You can't please them all, Jimmy. Yeah, but like I was saying, look, the Yankees. The most loved and the most hated team out there. Yankee fans love to watch him win, but every other fucking person that's not loves to, loves, they get a heart on to watch him lose. Of and, you, you know, and, and... You know, it's it, it. If they were to sit there and care what every other person thought, then you know what? It's going to affect their gameplay. You yeah. came in eighth. You know, you came in eighth place, coming out of fucking MLG retirement. You know, at a tournament that I don't give a shit. I mean, I've heard people say, "Well, this person wasn't here, this," but fuck you. It was 120 people and fucking. 80 of those people were damn good players, and 20 of those people were really, really good players. There were a lot of good players there. Yeah. You know, so it's like, it's like, you can't allow, you know, and you do allow it, dude. You allow them well, to I, get I, under I, your I skin. I gotta get some just cast thing. I'm going right back on it. All right. All right. Do what you gotta do. All right. You know, but I mean, for Tom, you know, I feel for Tom. You know, he lets shit get under his skin too much, and it's like, you know, just 
you know, I got to a point in my time, and me and him were talking about it on the phone, how, you know, back in the MK1 and 2 days, I got all the same troll shit. I mean, I mean, people would drive eight hours just to play against me in fucking Mortal Kombat 1. You know, and then when they got blown up, you know, or I was tired. Well, that ain't my fucking fault. You should have flew. You know, I mean, but the haters are going to hate. The people that like you are going to like you. And, and you deal with it. Do, do you. You know, I don't, you know, if there's somebody on the show that says, oh, man, I hate you. Well, guess what? Okay, join the line of about a fucking million other people that hate me. I'm not the perfect person. I like you too, Ashnock, but not in that way. Um, but, uh, you know, it's the emo shit that you just, it's, it's, don't let it get you emotional. You know, it's, it's, at the end of the day, it's a game. You know, it's a game. It's supposed to be fun. You know, you don't see, and once again, I hate to use Dungeons and Dragons as my fucking analogy, but you don't see this kind of shit in Dungeons and Dragons. Now, well, there was that one movie where the fucking two kids adopted the kid and he were playing Dungeons and Dragons, but uh, what was that movie where they adopted the fucking, the kid from fucking Superbad with the glasses and he wound up getting eliminated. Somebody out there knows what it is. Shut the fuck up and get your sexy wife on stream. Limbo dog, my wife hates you. My wife actually turned around and said she hopes you don't have a fucking green card because she wants to get your ass deported. Damn. Yeah. And not even to the country of origin. She wants to get you, like, depo departed to, like, I don't know, West Africa or some shit. Damn. Yeah. Um, still waiting for, uh, for, for Chris. Chris is running late, obviously. Um, it is only 12.08. You know, he said 9 o'clock. So, um, have you ever killed a man? I've killed him with kindness. Um, and, that's, and that's the key. You know, it's like you, you, you can't let this shit get under your skin. You know, I mean, it's just, I, I hear this and I, it drives me crazy sometimes. Like with the PL not playing for the money. You know, PL's got a lot to lose. You know, PL's got a, PL's got a lot to lose. And, you know, and what I can, is that? Enlighten me. I'll, I will enlighten you. If he loses the money match but wins the tournament, nobody's going to give a fuck. Nobody's going to give a fuck. All they're going to care about is him. He lost $1,000. You know, and and he's he's holding a re you know I don't want to say he's holding on to his reputation, but he's holding on to his reputation. Um, but unfortunately for him, his reputation is also that is becoming that of a of a dodger. But you know, when he has come out of his shell to play, he sure as hell has produced. I mean, it can't be denied. You know, I mean, there was the one, what, the one MLG, I think he got 19th or whatever, or 14th. But beyond that, he's always producing. You know, and, and you know, he's another perfect example of somebody that I wish that would just wake up. You know, if, if you keep the game fun and competitive, you find how much more you enjoy the game. I mean, how many people that are in this room right now that have not made top fucking 10 still continue to go to tournaments because they're like, you know what, I meet people, I hang out, I have a good fucking time. <clears throat> you know, and that's, and, and, and that's, you know, and that's the important thing is enjoying it. You know, I mean, it kind of sucks. You know, here I am. I, yes, I know Felice. Um, James, put some makeup on, dance or something. Yeah, yeah Limbo Dog, man. You want me to put makeup on? I'll put makeup on my cock. And I'll dance and I'll do the I'll do the silence of the lamb dance for you. Would you like that? Fucking fruitcake. Yeah, please do that in private with him. Yes. I don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that for fruitcake boy. <laughs> um you can lay a nasty fart in a leather chair, it'd be so loud. I don't fart. You know why? Because I don't eat. Ain't nothing to come out. Mountain Dew doesn't give me gas out my ass. Only my mouth. But, you know, I'm going to uh, bear with me a second. Take over the mic. Let me reach out to Chris Cassimasso again. Well, get me somebody on the show for the time being. All right. Let's get, uh, let me see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Tim. Where are you, Tim? Tim, you are always fucking entertaining for me. Where are you? 
Tim. Let's get Tim. Add Tim to the conference call. Let's see if he's around. Mr. Tim K. Frog, rock and roll, man. Rock and roll. Answer your phone, Tim. I'm talking to you. Disturbed. Where is Disturbed? Dis OBS Disturbed. I haven't seen him tonight. I could always put Derp in the dog. Nah, I don't want Derp in the dog. I like the dog. Nah, I don't. I like the dog. Fuck you. Where's Derp? Derp Tile. Get your dog. He don't, he don't talk. And plus, we got to kick him out anyway. Yeah, I'll kick him out if his dog fucking doesn't come on. I got to blow up the blind man. I ain't blowing up a blind man. I'm not burning it out, man. Oh, you're talking about blowing up, can't you? Um, I got to grab a drink, so hold on, because I'm fucking, my mouth is dry since I'm popping pills like a drug addict. There we go. I'm a little doggy friend. I like him. Uh, normal view. Here we go. Yay, fucking dog. Yo, fucking, uh, Derp Tile. What's your, what's your dog's name? Derpy? What's the dog's name? His name is Bozo. What's the name? Bozo. Bozo? Yes. Alright. And he finally talked. Wait, James, where the hell you go? Oh, you already stepped away? Yeah, my voice is kind of dry also right now. I'm trying to conserve it for when Chris comes on. <clears throat> Again, guys, uh, Shang Tsung was godlike. The name Bozo, Derptal. Yo, Derptal, they want to see your face. Oh, no, it's fine. <laughs> Yo, show, show me your dog's red rocket. Red rocket, red he rocket. Him, so he doesn't got one. Oh, man, he don't have a red rocket? All right, so do you think if I mix in Oxycontin and a Valium, that's a bad thing? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we'll find out. If not, I'll, I won't I, I won't be playing the Joker in the next Batman movie. Uh, okay. Waka waka, bad joke. Yeah, so I do got to say that Kari Tagawa is a fucking really cool-ass dude. He definitely is, a, you know, I've spent, uh, you know, a couple of days talking to him on the phone, and uh, he's a real nice guy. Yeah. Hopefully he, uh, yes, Napalm, we had uh, uh, Carrie Tagawa from MK on. He just did a quick little promo. Um, yeah, Napalm, you missed it. It was godlike, dude. Speaking of which, I have to send the tweet out to somebody else here. Let me go into my onliners. Napalm, you have to catch the archive tomorrow whenever I get it up. Yeah, for all you guys who come, came in late, you miss uh, Kari Tagawa, Shang Tsung. He, he was in character. It was godlike. Uh, uh, you just got to catch the archive. We, we, we teased the special guests before the show when, it's, when the beginning of it came on. So... Um, yeah, you, you really missed one hell of a part there. I would never get it up. Oh, oh shit, I didn't know that was... I didn't even know I had a problem. Dude, I missed two hours of the whole 25 weeks and missed... Shit. Yeah, dude, man. Yeah. I even got private messages hit me up like while that was happening. Like, holy shit. Yeah, I don't think in the beginning people realized it was really him. Yeah, people thought that was a soundbite or, or, or a soundboard and shit like that. That was funny, dude. I, I saw comments like that in the chat. Oh, shit. Crow's got fucking Derptile's dog. Derptile's dog actually made it to fucking oh, shit. icon Look at shit. Look at that. I want to get it. What, what is he? Like a pit bull mix? Yes. Mixed with what, though? That's a house. He's actually kind of chill, man. Holy shit, Dirt Tile's talking. What the fuck? I guess it's getting closer to December 21st. The motherfucker wants to actually say something. Or is it the dog talking? <laughs> hey, Dirt Tile, what's your thoughts on the end of the world coming? Huh? What's your thoughts on the end of the world coming? I don't really care. What are you? 
I don't know. Nationality wise, prick. I am from tech support. Yeah, from what? Oh, nothing. Did he say tech support? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. Well, I, I have a problem. I have a C class block, and I'm losing four of my IP addresses through uh, through the router. Even though I'm doing ripped, I'm not picking them up. What should I do to actually regain them? Thanks for the help, man. Better off calling India. Damn. Damn. What, what's your nationality, seriously? From India, man. Ah. You're a Gandu? Huh? You a Gandu? No, I am not. You Bancho? No. Chudia? What? Chudia? I can barely hear you, James. Speak up. I said Chudia. Chudia Macho. Yeah, we don't know what the fuck that is, James. He does. He does. He's upset now. <laughs> I don't really. I don't really mean it. I say it in an. I say it in in a, in a term of endearment. So you're doing tech support, James? Why are some people louder in the chat on Skype than others? You know what? I gotta tweak some shit. Um, I redone my computer again um, because uh, I'm fucking around with Windows 8, and I want to. I, I kind of want to start to eventually migrate into Windows 8. So um, I got a dual uh, dual partition, and I'm running Windows 7 and Windows 8. So eventually it'll migrate, and hopefully I'll clear out some of those issues. Uh, Mr. Salavia, if you end the chat, uh, I never got that private message from you about what you wanted me to discuss for you. So, can you send me that message already so I know what the fuck you wanted? Who do I want? Oh, here we go. Do we have an email? I actually have him in here. Let's see if he wants to partake. I like him. I like him. I fucking like him. That don't sound right, bro. No, I mean him in a fucking a positive, a Corleone type of What's way. What's going on, man? What's up, Mr. Corleone? Mr. OBS you disturbed. You me in the middle of the fucking night and shit, man. Well, I figured you were fapping one out to some, like, real nice black beauties. <laughs> and then I said, ah, right, you know, the I'm, I'm going to cut them off, right? Fucking rammed in by, like, two guys and one in her ass, one in her pussy and shit. I like that type of shit. Hey, whatever, <laughs> whatever floats the boat and tickles the pickle, man. <laughs> Who does T love? Who do you love, man? I love Pig of the Hut. Oh wow, Crystal Cage is. Uh, she's asking who who does T love, and you ain't saying her. I love Crystal oh, Cage. She's getting jealous now. Pig and CC, those two, those two, both of them. Oh shit, she got CC. If there'd be some way we could have like a threesome and shit, that'd be awesome. So who would be getting hit from behind? Would be the what? Who be getting hit from behind? Uh, CC. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you guys in the show, man, what the fuck is going on, man? Yeah, the show's live right now, dude. Yeah, yeah man. Shit. <laughs> Did you catch the beginning? Nah, man. I had Shang Soon on. Oh, for real? Yeah, I had fucking uh, Carrie Tagawa from the movie on. He did a little promo. Let me check this shit out. Man. I didn't even know the show was going on today. Come on, man. It's every Tuesday. Yeah, man. Come on. It's just 25 weeks in a row, man. We haven't missed a single week on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, I'm slipping, man. Yeah, guys. There will be a Christmas episode. There will be a New Year's episode. Wait. Yeah, there's a New Year's episode, right? I, uh, Christmas. Because Santa Claus ain't going to give me shit because I'm giving all my money away for Christmas. So, I am, seriously, I'm giving every penny I got, I'm cleaning up my bank account and giving it to my boy. Because he lost yeah. he lost his house fucking in the storm and shit. Oh, yeah? And I'm going to give him fucking, well, hopefully fucking, at least enough so I can pay my rent. But after that, then uh, the rest goes to him. I mean, the guy lost everything, fucking, the guy hey, what's, like, what's going on with that? Is like FEMA, uh, FEMA's, FEMA's, like yeah, thousand everybody or something? FEMA's, FEMA's helping out, I mean, I don't know about this hundred thousand shit, but, 
I mean, they've been helping out some. I mean, but they've been giving some wacky ass shit too, man. They've been like giving you like tampons and you know shit for like chicks, you know, douches and tampons. And my boy's like, what the fuck am I gonna do with this shit? You know. So I mean, but they're doing their best. You know. So I mean, they they they're helping out. Red Cross is. I don't. I'll never give a fucking penny to the Red Cross again. I hope those cocksuckers go broke, bankrupt, and fucking tossed hey, out of this hey, country. Hey, that's all of you. What? Add Salavia. What? I said add Salavia. Oh, add Salavia. I thought, I, I thought Salavia is like part of the Red Cross. I'd kick him out of OBS. No. Where is he? Uh, Salavia. So we, we got Derp Tile in the show? Uh, Derpster is uh, in the show, yes. <laughs> and he actually talked. Yes, twice. He says something? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You're going to jail now. <laughs> Damn, Tom Brady. Officer Brady. Oh, shit. Man, motherfuckers got a lot of time on their hands. What's up, Mr. Felice? I don't even know if I acknowledge you. Uh, I obviously acknowledge Robot Columbus, uh, Mr. K7, Mr. Napalm, the ever-lovely Crystal Cage, the ever-lovely Mr. Molina slash... Mr. Who else? Mr. Cheech, of course, as always. You know, my usual trolls ain't here, and they, they, I'm glad they're not here tonight because they usually break my balls. Revolver, which I have to correct you, Revolver, um, once again, just so for the record, I said if I beat you in the tournament, I would turn gay. I didn't say if you beat me. That just shows you how much faith I had in myself. What place did, by the way, hey, uh, uh, Revolver, what place did you wind them coming in? I'm curious about that. I like when somebody comes in a decent place and I fucking got knocked out. I hate, like, losing to somebody and they're like, yeah, I Wait, got 59. Did they ever put the standings up for the tournament? Mm-hmm. No, I don't think they ever did put the, the whole no, thing. No, right? Up. I don't think Shock or Phil posted that yet. Mm-hmm. Um... Uh, you know, I don't, uh, oh, Mr. Toro, obviously. Yes, Chris Casamassa is not here yet, and I'm still hitting him up, and I'm not getting no answer. So I am going to hit him up again. <sighs> so you had uh, Shang Tsung from the webisodes on earlier? No, from the no, movie. From the movie, the very first Mortal Kombat movie. Oh, uh, shit. So you got a double feature going on today, huh? Yeah, it was a little teaser with him on. That's what's up, man. You get to see that shit. Uh, uh Salvia, you hear us? Uh, yeah. What's up? Can you hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Go ahead. What, what, what you have to chime in on? Uh, nothing, man. Just watching for the watching the show, waiting for Scorpion. <laughs> oh, I I know that, but you said you had something you wanted to put on blast and talk about. Oh man, I wasn't even gonna really dig into it, but. Nah, do it. I don't want to hear that shit, man. Come on. Fuck that. Go balls deep. Let's go. <laughs> well, I mean, really, um, you, a couple of you might have heard. A few days ago, I was on the uh, sub zero council. Uh, a lot of a lot of people within the community community know me as uh, sub zero main, and I just I had a, a certain uh, uh, argument with a certain person. He goes under the name of Blind Man, who's his handle, and uh, this person was literally one of the most ignorant, one-dimensional, self-righteous people or person I've ever spoken with um, inside the MK community. Basically what was happening is Dark Manus, you you play a key role within this uh, within this whole uh, discussion. We were talking about the uh, Sub-Zero and Freddy matchup and I threw out <coughs> the idea to randomly not randomly but during current spacing like jump in spacing just out of uh, just outside of teleport spacing to so maybe throw out a random 2-2 two -two, and I got blown up and I understand this because I didn't maybe specify that my only high level Freddy matchup experience comes against you um, okay. you know Dark Natus which you're a devoted rushdown Freddy you know uh -huh. so 
my whole thing is is when playing you, you got to think, okay, I'm not really dealing with zoning as much as I'm dealing with rushdown. So how do you deal with that? Especially with a character who has a self teleport or at least neutral. I'm not exactly even sure what the fuck that thing is, but I do know that if you um, if you teleport in on me and you're just outside of that jump in teleport range, if I can throw out a two two, I can catch you. I can catch you and I can full punish you. Whether you teleport in, whether you jump in, if you jump in, I anti air you. Teleport in, I full punish you. If you footsie yourself way in, that's a different that's a different story. It's basically just a read. It's a read at a certain spacing that you think that this character is going to do this at this time. And all I did was try to illustrate this option for Sub-Zero against a Rushdown Freddy. And this guy took it upon himself to call me pretty much irrelevant to any type of Sub-Zero community and that I had no idea what I was talking about and that I was dumb. And literally at that point, I just told him, I was like, well, what you need to do is you need to go play Sub -Zero, or you need to go play Dark Natus and see how that works out for you. And all he could say to that was, I can't. He's never played you. He has no experience towards a rushdown. But Freddy. Blind Man has played me. Well, he says he hasn't. He's playing me Freddy Mirrors. That's it. I, I don't know. But he, he says he hasn't played you with the Sub Zero, and he, you know, he's just. Yeah, he, Blind Man so I, I, I I'm PSN. I don't know if it's Blind Man 88. Or, yeah, it is. He plays PSN. It's Blind Man 88. Yeah, he blew me the fuck up acting like why why would Freddy ever why would Freddy ever teleport on Sub Zero? And I, honestly, dude, I don't have a fucking answer for you. I'm not the Freddy player, dude. Like ask fucking Dark Natus, but <coughs> shit works out for him. And he's just so one dimensional and so close minded and so just, you know, like threw anything I had to say right out the door. It, you know, it literally, it pissed me off to the point where I was just like, fuck this, this is a room of morons, I'm leaving the stream. There was other people in the stream, there was uh, Cyrus Strike, Captain Execution, but they didn't really say much, because I think that, you know, they're more open-minded players, and I, I, so I thank them for that. But to that guy, that dude's a fucking douche, and uh, I bet if you'd like to play me online anytime, I'll fucking mop the floor with your ass. Most of the 88s are douchebags, though. Is that what he is? Is he an eighty-eight? I don't even know. Yes, yeah, he's, he's, an 88. A, he's an eighty-eight man. Matter of fact, he's the uh, he's the Imperial Warlord. He's the he's the head master. Yeah, well, he's a fucking douche, man. Because he he wasn't even willing to he wasn't even willing to hear what I was trying to say. I, well, I was trying to tell him that it, I'm not speaking about playing an M2 day. I'm talking about a, a, cause, I mean half of it's my fault because I didn't illustrate the fact that I'm talking about a rush down Freddy but at the same time he wasn't really willing to listen to me so fuck him but I that's mean, all he, I gotta he does say make, he does make a little sense with why would a Freddy rush down on a Sub-Zero because Sub-Zero's game I mean Freddy's game against Sub-Zero is usually yes, going I do but that. I'm not your typical fucking Freddy player exactly out there. so I do out. things that you're not expecting you expect every Freddy player to sit there and chuck projectiles when I sit there, I'll chuck projectiles and then zip, and, and then teleport it on you and surprise you, you know? Exactly. And that's what I tried to explain to the guy, but he was just He was just the most fucking douchey guy I've ever spoken with in the in the community. And really I didn't really want to get into it because it's not really, you know, mainstream Mortal Kombat drama news, but that's all I really got to say, and for that much, I'm going to leave the chat and hope that uh, Scorpion gets on soon, guys. Uh, hey. Also, Shang Tsung was fucking godlike, dude. Oh my god. Alright, well, while I don't have uh, Chris Casamassa right now, I do have in the chat um, Riot Scorpion, which is the Scorpion from the uh, MK Flash Dancers in the chat right now, but he's kind of beat. He's been editing because of his movie. Um, I offered him to come on, but he's kind of tired right now. Uh, uh, tyrant, uh, you got add, add James MK onto your thing, and I'll add you in no problem whatsoever. So just uh, add me, and I'll uh, throw you on. Not okay. a problem. All uh, right, so I'm out. Take it easy. All right, man. Peace to right, uh, Tom Brady police. That's actually a pretty cool fucking pick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit was sweet, man. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'd really like to get you on here, Josh. Uh, definitely uh, 
think you could add some wood into this fire and uh, just give people a little bit about. Uh, give, I mean, oh, I there he goes. Right, Scorpion. Then. For the true title. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should get in here, man. Get in here. Get your mic going. Get in here for a little bit. And uh, and Tyrant, same thing. Yeah, James MK, you know, with the two S's, and uh, get in here on the Skype call. Yeah, guys, once we get Chris Casamass on, I got to kick everybody off. off yeah, the once call. he gets on, yeah. But, I mean, he's running a little late, obviously. I hope he didn't forget me. I hate when Man, that forget. shit won't be till 4 a.m. in the morning. No, no, no. I knew that with, with him, with, uh, with with Johnny Cage, I knew that. He made that clear. Yeah, we knew that about him. Yeah, that was, that was done. In, that was all done in advance. So, I mean, I just, I had no choice. He was stuck working on something. Tomorrow, we should be releasing the vid. Oh, shit. All right. Wow, already? Damn, that's fair. Motherfucking, you're an editing pro. Yeah, so definitely, uh... I'll edge you in here, man. Get yeah. you in on this. Get on. I, I know Rodney's on also. If you want to add him on, Liu Kang. I see him on Skype right now. You got his name right, James? Mm, uh, is it the, is his regular name? Yes, it's a regular name. Yeah, I'm gonna add. Him. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm living in a world where I hate my life. Thank God I don't have a motherfucking knife. Cause I kill everybody, including myself. I could tell everybody, go fuck yourself. Uh, I see two of them. Uh, we'll go with this one. Don't I got you on Skype, Josh? Oh, I could have slide there. Yeah, Unless he changed his name again. Yeah, you losing up a password again, man? Alright, we got this mofo here. Man, this fucking guy, man, he changes his hair more time than fucking Lady Gaga. That's cool. Fucking tyrant. We got time right now? I'm getting him in right now. Okay. Trey Pound too? Did I? Ah, yeah. Whoops, sorry, Trey. Not that you never on the call. Every weekend. Oh, shit, told to get me up. All right. What's up, Mr. Tyrant? Yo, what up? What's up, Tyrant? Dude, man, you be changing your hair more than Lady Gaga, man. What the fuck? <laughs> ah, man. You got to get that 70s fro going, man. You got to get that shit all out. I want to see you. I want to see you come down with the fucking pick in the hair and everything. Oh wait, quick thing, uh, guys, whoever has a Twitter account, send Shang Tsung a message, his Twitter account is C-H-T-A-G-A-W-A, -A -A. um, send him a message, he's getting messages, replying to a lot of people who saw him on the show, so if you want to get a response back from him, send him a message, I'll repeat again, it's at C-H-T-A-G-A-W-A. -A -A. You can also um, spell it and put it in the huh? chat, you can also spell it and put it in the chat. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I, I'll do it in a sec. I'm spelling but it out. I, I was reading it. I only got a third grade education, so I got C. <laughs> yeah, guys, so send him a message. He's, he's responding to, i seen him respond by like five. <laughs> he responds, people. yeah, he responds to everybody, man. He yeah. responds to everybody out there. So what's up there, Mr. Tyron? What you got going on in the uh, West Coast world? None, man. Just been uh, practicing for SCR coming up, man. Practicing Baraka, huh? Yeah. <laughs> rock the Baraka. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to try to get out there. I really, really want to get out there. I haven't done the West Coast tournaments. You know, I think I was banned from California by Larry <laughs> Flint. I think Larry Flint don't want me out there no more. <laughs> I don't know. I cursed him out and told him I'd fucking tip his colostomy bag on his head. But, uh, uh, yeah, I, we didn't get along. Uh, so, uh, what drama going on with you out there in, uh, the EGP world, or is it peaceful? It's actually pretty peaceful for now, like, no, no drama yet, so. 
you know, usually, you know, shit starts popping off once it gets closer to majors, you know, people feeling ballsy and want to, you know, call each other out and stuff, so, but, uh, yeah, man, hey, you never gave me my